Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of thermodynamics. In our last lectures, we have studied about the thermodynamic relationships. We have studied about Maxwell relationships, non-Maxwell relationships and about the equation of states. Now in this lecture, we will study about the thermodynamic coefficients. Actually, in thermodynamics, there are three coefficients. These are called alpha, beta and gamma. One is called the isobaric expansion coefficient that is called alpha okay second is called isothermal compressibility coefficient that we denote by beta and third one is isochoric thermal pressure coefficient that we denote by gamma okay so today we will study about all of these and then we will study about their relationships and how we can express them in the terms of the equation of states. Okay, so let's watch our lecture. Okay, so first of all, we start with the isobaric expansion coefficient this is also known as alpha okay see here suppose we are taking a gas in a cylinder like this this is our cylinder okay suppose the pressure is constant it means we are not moving this piston okay so pressure is kept constant pressure is constant now we are increasing the temperature okay when we increase the temperature what will happen the intermolecular forces between these atoms, these are the atoms, between these atoms, the intermolecular forces will decrease. So, the distance between these particles will increase. It means we can say on increasing the temperature, the volume is increasing. That we denote by del V upon del T. It means change in volume with respect to temperature at constant pressure. Okay. So, this is called the thermodynamic expansion coefficient actually we put here one term one upon v we are dividing here by the volume why we are dividing by volume because we want an intensive property okay so when we divide it by the volume we are getting an intensive property so actually alpha is an intensive property so what will be its formula the formula is alpha is equal to one upon v del V upon del T at constant pressure. Okay. Now see, for the ideal gas, first of all, see for the ideal gas case, what will happen in the case of ideal gas? For ideal gas, what is the formula? PV is equal to NRT. Okay. Now see here, we have given del V upon del T at constant pressure. So, V will be equal to NRT upon P. Okay. Now we are interested in del V upon del T at constant pressure so we will differentiate it with respect to temperature at constant pressure when the pressure is constant this term nr upon p will go outside okay and differentiation of del t upon del t will be equal to 1 it means this term will be equal to nr upon p right now put this value alpha is equal to 1 upon P del V upon del T at constant pressure. So, this get 1 upon P N R upon P. Okay, now we know that P is equal to N R T upon V. Okay, we can put here. So, by this we are getting N R upon N R T and we will go up. Okay. So, this term will cancel out and this will cancel out. So, what we are getting? Alpha is equal to 1 upon T. Okay. So, for the ideal gases, alpha is equal to 1 upon T, reciprocal of the temperature. So, its unit, if we are seeing the unit of alpha, then it will be equal to per Kelvin or it will be equal to per degree centigrade. Okay. This is the unit of alpha. Now see for the Van der Waal gases. For Van der Waals gas, what is the formula? We know P plus A n square 
upon v square v minus n b is equal to n r t. This is the formula, right? Now we are interested in finding out del v upon del t at constant pressure. Okay. So for this, what you will have to do? You will have to find out this v. If you are deriving v from here, then this equation will be a cubic equation. And we cannot solve this equation. This will get very much lengthy and we cannot solve that. So what we will do? Firstly, we will find out del t upon del v at constant pressure. Okay. Instead of this. Okay. We are not finding out this one. We are finding out this one. Okay. And then we will take its reciprocal. So this will be easier for us. Okay. So for this, what you will do? You will find out firstly the value of temperature. Okay. So see here how we can find out temperature T. This term will go here 1 upon NR. Okay. T plus AN square upon V square V minus NB in this manner. Okay. Now do its differentiation del T upon del V at constant pressure. This will be equal to 1 upon NR. See here there are two terms. Okay. In multiplication. So do one differentiation with respect keeping other constant and then do the second differentiation keeping the first constant. Okay. In this way, you will have to do the differentiation. If you not know about the differentiation, I have made the videos on the differentiation and integration in my playlist of quantum mechanics. Okay. You can go there and you can see the videos. I will also give the link in the description box so that you can find out that videos. So do here. P plus A n square upon V square. Keep here outside and the this the differentiation of V minus N V will be equal to 1. Okay. So here into 1 plus V minus N V. Now we are keeping this outside and doing the differentiation of P plus A n square upon V square. Okay. So what we are getting 1 upon N R P plus a n square upon v square plus v minus n v. Okay. Then a n square will go outside and the differentiation of 1 upon v square will be equal to minus 2 upon v q. Okay. Now see here 1 upon n r p plus a n square upon v square plus v minus n b then do its multiplication minus 2 a n square upon v q. So we are getting 1 upon n r p plus a n square upon v square minus 2 upon v q v square plus 2 a n q b upon v q. Okay. This is the value of del t upon del v at constant pressure. Now we have to find out del V upon del T at constant pressure and this will be equal to its reciprocal. It means del T upon 1 upon del T upon del V at constant T. This is according to the reciprocal rule. What is the reciprocal rule? I have told you that del Z upon del X at constant Y is equal to 1 upon del x upon del z at constant y. This is called the reciprocal rule. So, this will be the value. So, we can write here. This will come out. Nr upon p plus a n square upon v square minus 2 upon v square plus 2 a n cube b upon v cube. Okay. So, alpha will be equal to, alpha we know is equal to 1 upon V, del V upon del T at constant pressure. This is equal to NR upon P minus A N square upon V square plus 2 A N cube B upon V cube. And then multiply it with 1 upon V. This will be the value of alpha for the case of Van der Waals case. Okay. Now the second coefficient is isothermal compressibility coefficient. It is denoted by beta. Okay. 
as you can understand from the name isothermal means temperature is constant okay so when temperature is constant compressibility coefficient it means when temperature is coefficient and we are changing the volume then what will happen when we are increasing the volume then what will happen the pressure will decrease it means change of volume with respect to pressure at constant temperature this is called the isothermal compressibility coefficient now we want an intensive property that is not changing with respect to mass so what we will do we will divide it by the 1 upon v okay and this del v upon del p at constant t actually this term this del v upon del p at constant t change of volume with the pressure is a negative term so we are applying here a negative sign okay so beta is equal to minus 1 upon v del v upon del p at constant temperature this is called the isothermal compressibility coefficient okay now firstly we are finding out this value for the ideal gas okay ideal gas we know ideal gas equation is pv is equal to nrt okay so volume v will be equal to nrt upon p now we are interested in del v upon del p at constant temperature so this will be equal to del upon del p of nrt upon p right so this value will be equal to minus nrt and see here this nrt is a this nrt is a constant term so this will go outside okay and the differentiation of 1 upon p will be equal to minus 1 upon p square so what we are getting minus nrt upon p square okay so we can write beta is equal to minus 1 upon v del v upon del p at constant temperature this will be equal to minus 1 upon v and here put minus nrt upon p square okay and we can write that p is equal to nrt upon v this is the formula so this nrt and this v instead of this we can write here p okay so we are writing p divided by p square okay minus 2 minus will cancel out so we are getting 1 upon p it means we can write beta is equal to 1 upon p this is for the ideal gas for ideal gas the isothermal compressibility coefficient is equal to 1 upon pressure right now see for the van der waals gas for van der waals gases the things become somewhat complicated because the equation is somewhat complicated p plus an square upon v square v minus nb is equal to nrt okay so p will be equal to nrt upon v minus nb minus an square upon p square okay so what we want to know del p upon del v at constant temperature this will be equal to del upon del v of nrt upon v minus nb minus del upon del v of an square upon b square okay now see here in this case nrt will go outside okay and the differentiation of v minus nb will be equal to 1 upon v minus nb will be equal to minus v minus nb whole square okay and this differentiation when we are doing an square will go outside and differentiation of 1 upon v square will be equal to minus 2 upon v q okay so we are getting 2 an square upon v q minus n r d upon v minus n b whole square now we have to find out del v upon del p at constant temperature this will be equal to 1 upon del p upon del v at constant temperature again we are using the reciprocal rule so what we are getting 1 upon 2 an square upon v cube minus n r t upon 
v minus n b whole square. So see here, I am writing here so that you can understand. Beta will be equal to minus one upon v del v upon del p at constant temperature. So this value comes minus one upon v two a n square upon v cube minus n r t upon v minus n b whole square. Okay. So this is the value of beta. In this way, you can find out the compressibility coefficient. Now we are seeing how we can find out the next coefficient. It means gamma. Isochoric thermal compressibility coefficient or isochoric thermal pressure coefficient. It means isochoric means when the volume is constant. So at constant volume, when the volume is constant, change of pressure with respect to temperature. This is called the isochoric thermal pressure coefficient, and we denote it by gamma. Okay, this is denoted by gamma. It means we can write gamma is equal to. See here, this is. Del P upon del T at constant volume. Change of pressure with respect to temperature at constant volume. And we have taken pressure. So in order to make it an intensive property, we are dividing it by pressure. Okay. So gamma is equal to one upon P del P upon del T at constant volume. Now see for ideal gas. For ideal gas, P V is equal to N R T. Okay. So P is equal to N R T upon V. Okay, so del P upon del T at constant volume will be equal to del upon del T of N R T upon V. Volume is constant, so it will go outside. So we are getting N R upon V del T upon del T. This value will be equal to one. So we are getting N R upon V. Okay, now put this value. So we are getting gamma is equal to one upon pressure into n r upon v. Okay. Now in place of v, we can write n r t upon p. Okay. We can write here n r upon n r t upon p. So what we are getting? This will be equal to one upon temperature. It means gamma is equal to one upon temperature. For an ideal gas. Okay. Now see for the Van der Waals gas. For Van der Waals gas, what is the equation? P plus a n square upon v square v minus n v is equal to n r t. Okay. So P will be equal to n r t upon v minus n v minus a n square upon v square. Now, del P upon del T at constant volume will be equal to del upon del T of n R T upon V minus n B minus del upon del T of a n square upon v square. Okay, see here, this term n R upon V minus n B is a constant term, so it will go outside, and del T upon del T will be equal to one. And here, del upon del T of a n square upon v square will be equal to zero because there is no temperature term. Okay, so this value comes n R upon v minus n B. So put this value, gamma will be equal to one upon P del P upon del T at constant volume will be equal to one upon P n R upon v minus n B. Okay, so this will be our value of compress isochoric compressibility constant, gamma. Okay, so in this way you can find out the values of alpha, beta, and gamma. Now the another thing is the how we can put these values in the equation of state. How we can find out first and second equation of state in the terms of alpha, beta, and gamma, and what is the relationship between alpha, beta, and gamma? Okay, so this we will see in the next lecture. If you are liking my videos please share them please subscribe the channel and please comment me thank you